the date, the 4th of October, 1582. On this day, Pope Gregory XIII initiated the Gregorian calendar. Today, the Gregorian calendar, also sometimes referred to as the Christian calendar, is the most widely used in the world. Before the Gregorian calendar was adopted, much of the Christian world used the Julian calendar, which had been in use since 45 years before Christ. Christian leaders wanted to keep Easter tied to spring, however began to see a drift in Easter's placement due to its date being governed by the vernal equinox and the Julian calendar's gaining of one day on the tropical or solar year every 128 years. Although the Julian calendar uses a leap year system very much like the Gregorian calendar, the Gregorian system omits a leap year, a year with an extra day occurring every four years, every 400 years. The Julian calendar averages out at being 365.25 days long, which is actually several minutes longer than the tropical calendar. In comparison, the Gregorian calendar is on average 365.2425 days long. This minute difference means that instead of gaining an extra day, in comparison to the tropical year, every 128 years, the Gregorian calendar instead gains a day only every 3,226 years. As well as being 10 minutes and 48 seconds shorter than the Julian calendar, the Gregorian calendar also skipped 10 days to compensate for the drift, meaning Thursday the 4th of October, 1582, was followed by Friday the 15th of October, 1582. Although named the Gregorian calendar after then Pope Gregory XIII, the forms were largely based on modifications suggested by Aloysius Lilius and authored by he and Christopher Clavius. The calendar was at first adopted only by Catholic countries, but went on to become common use in Protestant countries too, and later by almost every country in the world. Everything becomes history. Until next time, goodbye.